All right, so today we're going to use the Twitter API. So up here, we go to developer.twitter.com, and we're going to show you how to use this for free. So if we go to products, and we go to Twitter API, and I click on that, it's going to give me some information on the Twitter API. I scroll down here to where it says view more docs. I'll click on that. And then over here, um, we have API access level and version. So we're going to click on this, and then if I scroll down here, we have like basic, pro, and enterprise. I don't know about you guys. I'm not willing to pay $5,000 a month for an API. I'm not even willing to pay $100 a month. But since we're just piddling around, um, you know, free is free, so we're good there. And we all limit it um, to what we can use the API for. Um, but again, just for messing around and educational purposes, using the free version is going to be perfectly fine. So if we go down here and look at this, we have the sign up button right here, or the sign up link, I should say. So we click on the sign up link, and we have the Twitter API, and you can notice it always defaults to basic. But again, we're going to go to free because, you know, I don't want to spend money on this. So we go down here, we already have the um, project, and I set up this project a while back. <clears throat> so it's already there, so you might have a different, um, you might have to go through and set up your project, but that's fine. But if you go down here to these free features, it's going to show you some of the information that you can do to pull information using the API. So we're going to want to do this in Python. So I'm going to go up here to the project apps and I'm going to hit the project. And right here we have different information. It gives us our monthly tree cap usage right here. So we know if we're getting close to our limit. And we have settings over here. It just gives us a little bit information about it. So if I go back to overview, is go down here to add app. Then I'm going to want to name this app and TC Python. And then once I do that, I'm going to hit next. And then what it's going to show you is going to show you API key, API secret, and bearer token. So you have all that information. So copy those because you're going to need those for your application. Now I'm going to go to my app settings and click on this and we have all our information right here so if I wanted to go to my key and tokens I can regenerate my keys uh, <clears throat> I can regenerate the bearer token and I can regenerate my access token secret so by the time I release this video I'm talking about obviously I am going to uh, <clears throat> regenerate those. All right, so back in your settings tab, if we go down here to use authentication settings and hit edit, we have app permissions, and I'm changing mine to read and write. So if you actually want to follow this tutorial and actually post, then you're going to have to change yours to read and write. I'm just doing mine through Jupyter Notebook, so I'm just going to keep it on the native app. So once that's saved, um, things we need to know if you go over to the Tweepy and this tells you how to use the Tweepy client and going down here this has your API endpoint from Twitter and this is the client method how you end up doing things and just going down here you can look and figure out which ones you want to use but this is where I get to get my information from and I'll put the link in the description below so what we're going to do next is we're just going to go ahead and jump in our Jupyter Notebooks. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a post to Twitter. So here's my um, Twitter, and this is my most recent post up here. So what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to go up here to a new Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to create a new post. So to do that, we're going to use, as we said earlier, the Treepy package. 
don't know why I put a comma up there, but we're going to import the tree bee. So now that that's import, we're going to have to input our consumer key, our consumer secrets, our access token, and our access secrets. So I already copied and pasted those. Um, so here we are with the defined keys. So we have all this information in there. And so now what we're going to have to do is if you looked at the documentation that I had up earlier, we want to make a client. So we're going to go Treepy and we're going to client and then we're going to pass certain information in there. So what information are we going to pass? Well, <clears throat> we're going to need the consumer key and that is going to equal the consumer key and then that's going to be the consumer secret and that's going to equal the consumer secret. So basically we're just defining the consumer key as a consumer key which is right here and the consumer secret equals consumer secret which is right up here. So the next thing we're going to end up doing is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same thing with the access token. And then once I have that that in, I gotta do the SS token secret, which is which is access token secret equals access and I didn't name this um, access token secret, which is fine. We'll just name this SS secret. So these here um, is just going to pass that information over. Um, it's not a big deal that our variable here and here is named, but we do want to keep the access token secret and the access token here fine. This variable here, which goes to this variable, and this variable that goes to that variable, that's fine that they're different. So now I'm just going to run that <clears throat> and then now we're connected to the client. So now what I want to do is I want to do a response equals and I'm going to run the client and I'm going to create a tree. And now that that treat is defined, we're going to pass the text and then Hello, YouTube people, right? We're just going to run that. And now that ran. So now all we got to do is go back up here. And if I do a quick refresh, I have hello, YouTube people right up there posted. And that's pretty much it. Um, easy as pie. So I'll probably end up doing some more stuff using this. Um, so just stay with me and I'll show you different techniques using the um, Treepy client.